Some colours are far easier to edit than others, and I find the most challenging colour to edit is the colour green. So today I'll be sharing with you three techniques on how you can get better greens in your photo just using Lightroom. And I'm going to start right now. Now, the problem with the colour green is it's found everywhere in nature. Take this photo as an example. Although it's a wedding photo, I would say around 90% or 80% of the photo is actually green. And when you go ahead and adjust it using the colour mixer tool, you'll find that it's actually just grabbing the green slider and moving it doesn't give you the effect that you're after. So for example, let's go to the color mixer tool here. If we drop down all the way to the green slider and just simply slide it over to the right or slide it over to the left, you can see that it's not actually selecting all of the colors in the background and it's creating these really harsh looking contrasty lines where it hasn't fully selected that color band and it just doesn't look natural at all. So how can we get over this problem and not having it appear in your images? Well, instead of just simply grabbing the green slider, what we're gonna do is use a slightly different tool and we're going to be using the targeted adjustment tool. So instead of grabbing the sliders, we're going to go to over to this tool here, which is called our targeted adjustment tool. And instead of selecting the color band, it will select the color, making a lot more natural look. So for example, if we go back to that green again, we go ahead and take it over to the right or take it over to the left, you can see that it's actually selecting more yellow than it is green, creating a lot more of a natural look and it creating a little bit more of a harmonious color in the background. Selecting all the greens consistently, which is really important. Now, if this fully doesn't work for you, there's two other ways that you can select the green. So instead of using the HSL adjustment layers, let's reduce that back down again, what we're gonna do is instead use point color. Now point color is a brand new tool found to Lightroom Classic. If you want to know more, go ahead and watch this video here. But instead of using a color band to select color, we're actually using a specific color. So you can see we've now selected that color, we go ahead and slide it, again, creating a bit more of a consistent look. And you can select multiple colors, which is really helpful. And my last tool is actually the calibration tool. So again, instead of using the color mixer tool, we can go all the way down to calibration. And you can see we've actually got a green primary which we can adjust. And we can see we're globally changing that color creating a little bit more of a consistent look. So if you are struggling with the color green, make sure that you're either using the targeted adjustment tool, point color, or the calibration tool to get better looking greens in your photo. Here is the before and here is the after. And make sure if this tutorial helped you out, write it down in the comments below.